Hewson YT. Tech for content creation. Today and welcome to another quick tutorial. This time we're looking at upload defaults on YouTube. Really quick, I'm gonna show you where you gotta to go to put in your upload defaults and some of the recommended settings. Now you can do this in two places. Of course, most people are getting defaulted to what you're looking at here, which is a studio beta or just YouTube studio. And you can also do it in Studio Classic, which we can get to just down the bottom here. We'll do it in Classic first, and then we'll jump back here and do it here in Studio Beta. So here we go. We're here in Classic. This is Classic. And what you do is go to Channel, click on that to pull down the menu. Third one down, Upload Defaults. Click on that. And here we are, all the upload defaults are on one page here. Let's list them down from top to bottom so you know what they are. First of all, we have Privacy. Here you have three options. You can set it for public, unlisted, and private. That's fairly self-explanatory. We can go into that on another video. The second one is the category, which you get to choose from any of the limited YouTube categories that YouTube offers, of course. License, you have two options, the standard YouTube license and Creative Commons attribution. Nine times out of 10, you want the standard YouTube license unless you want everybody in the world to take your video and do with it what you will, which is pretty much what people do if they see a video set for Creative Commons. So don't use Creative Commons unless you have a really good reason. You can set the title. If you have uh, commonality or common words always in the title, you can maybe put them in there. If you have like a big chunk of the description that's always the same, you can pre-fill the description. I leave mine blank, but that's up to you. It's probably good to use that. You can even pre-fill your tags, but the way that if you ideally use tags the way they should be used, you don't want to be using the same tags every single time. But say you have channel tags like your channel name, which you might be interested in using, then you can maybe just put that one in and then populate the rest of the tags on a per video basis. The next one down is comments and ratings. You have the option to allow comments, which is for when people comment on your videos. You can have, if you want to turn comments off, you just uncheck the box. Or you can allow all comments just to come in freely and display publicly on your channel. Hold potentially inappropriate comments for review is the recommended one for me because what that does is that pulls aside and puts into held for review any questionable comments. These comments could include links or bad words in your in your settings, in your back end, your community settings that you have set for your channel, those sorts of things. Or you could hold all comments for review. This every single comment will not go public until you say, yes, that's fine. Best one is this one. That's the one I go with. The next option is users can view ratings for this video. This I wouldn't worry about too much because ratings don't really happen on YouTube. This next section we have monetization. So if you have qualified for the YouTube Partner Program and you are able to monetize your videos, you can you are allowed to check this box, monetize of ads, so that your videos automatically uh, get ads added to them. Once you've uploaded your video, it goes live. And then below this we have the ad formats. These are you can choose which types of ads appear on your videos but you can uh, adjust those at your will set the defaults or just turn them all off if you want to next we have video language of course i have mine set for english yours will probably default and give you the correct uh, language that you speak so make sure that that is exactly the language that you speak in the video the next one down is community contributions allow viewers to contribute translated titles descriptions and subtitles or closed captions. Basically, this allows anybody who, who wants to, there'll be a link attached to your video where people can go and do translated titles, descriptions and subtitles and submit them for your channel. If you don't want people to be able to submit those sorts of things, then you can uncheck that. Caption certification, I don't have anything set by default. There's some technical aspects to this that I can't explain here in this video, but for, the, for purposes, just leave that be. And lastly, video statistics, you can check the box if you want to make the video statistics on the watch page publicly visible. It says the video statistics on the watch page can be accessed by clicking the chart icon below the video. 
if you don't want people to be able to look at some video statistics then uncheck the box you might see that there's a save button up here this is where what you click after you make your changes have have it set for what you want save if you have a, a service like TubeBuddy you'll get additional options to save multiple defaults instead of just the one you, at the moment you see one it says YouTube this is default YouTube one I can go new and they create a whole different profile based on a type of video that I might do and then I can save those as multiple multiple profiles but if you don't have TubeBuddy or a uh, service allows you to do that then you just can only do the one and you get the option to save so make sure you save your changes before you leave the page let's go have a look at studio beta and we're back where we started on studio beta now to get to the upload default settings it's very simple across to the left go to settings click on that the settings box dialog will open as it is now third option down the side menu here upload defaults now this time it's laid it out in three tabs instead of just the one page. On the first page, which is called Essentials, you got the option for your title, description, and the visibility. We went over what those mean in, in the first part. The second page extra is where all your tags and monetization options are. So here we are on there. You can pick your, your ads and your uh, uh, mid-roll ads as well. And lastly, on the advanced is everything else, like your category, your uh, YouTube license type, your video language, your capture certifications. If you want community contributions on or off, how you want uh, YouTube to handle your comments. So that's uh, all this, pretty much the same settings that were in the, in the classic here, but just in a different layout. And it's as simple as that. You can make any changes you like and then save it right down here. And then what will happen is the next time you upload a video, when you first upload, start uploading the video, these defaults will be loaded for you. And then you can just add the bits that are missing, cha make changes where necessary, of course. Now, if you haven't seen episode four in my YouTube for Noob series, it's coming out just after this video. But by the time you watch this video, it might already be out. So make sure that you check the card here and then you can go watch that. That's all about how to upload your videos to YouTube. So if you want to know more about that, click on that right now and I'll catch you next time. Subscribe to Doug Hewson YT for more tech for content creation.